Hey guys, this is Richard at Reefs.com and we're in the show floor of Reefapalooza Orlando in 2024 and I'm here in Aperture's booth with my good friend Tom. Tom, how are you doing today? Excellent. It's a pleasure as good always. To, good to see you my friend. It is. You guys have some amazing launch this weekend. So why don't you tell us a little bit about these nice little sleek materials here? We do. I'm really excited. I mean, uh, multiple reasons. This is a great show. You know, it's kind of always like the kickoff of the year. Right. You get to see Richard. It's tough to beat. Speaking of which, we're going to dive right into our first one. So yeah. we've got a, uh, the Dose, of course, has been a, you know, grossly successful product, frankly, for Neptune over the last few years. I'm running like six of them with right. 12 heads on my tank at home, which facilitated many, many months of not doing anything, basically. And, uh, you know, so how, do, how could we make that even better? So we're essentially adding, you know, two great bullet points of features with this one here, silent operation, really yeah. in the lower rates of speed. Yeah. Uh, details are gonna get announced on all this stuff like very, very soon. Right. Um, but also, you know, and so many, many people may not really experience that, but the continuous duty, I think, is like for me personally, something that's even more exciting. Right. Uh, because it will run constantly at speeds less than 60 mils per minute, mm -hmm. uh, which is up to 3.8 gallons per day right. uh, without a pause. Uh, of course, the current dose will take intermittent timeouts to protect itself, et cetera, uh, keep the motors running. So, you know, this could be uh, pretty innovative and, you know, um, cosmetically or aesthetically better for, for certain users. Right. And it's just make, taking something that's, that's great and making it even better. So, yeah, I can't really say enough about how reliable these things are and right. how many different things they can do. It still does all the other great stuff. Spins in both directions, talks to testing devices. Yeah. Liquid food's possible. They're big, but they're tough. They can do a lot. They're yeah. very resilient. So there's so many applications for this. And right. I think, you know, with all the different uh, functionality and the great UI and all that kind of stuff that Neptune's had, it's further, you know, the betterment of the entire hobby. So I think you're just gonna see a lot more of the same with yeah. this and new functions that people couldn't really accomplish before. So, gotcha. Dose QD is gonna retail for 349. 349. Retail, uh, sorry, release date is the 30th uh, of this month, April. Okay. So, um, very soon it'll be hitting the shelves. Go track down your platinum dealers. Um, they could be a little hard to get. Uh, so, in, in, initial launch is gonna be hard absolutely. to get. Absolutely. Right? And, you know, we've debuted a new color scheme, which uh, right. I gotta say, Seeing it finally in person myself, yeah, it looks fresh. Like the orange and the black contrast, I think it'll, it pops out really. Oh, the yeah. orange really There's pops with nice it. Lots of nice little new stuff here. Yeah, so, I, I'm really loving it. I'm digging it. All right, so and then of course, what yeah. of course everybody's gotten a little crazy about, and uh, I think there's been a lot of excitement and there's honestly anticipation, prediction, if you will, from the hobby. Right. That people have been asking about this for years. They were asking about that before the Trident was released, right? So mm -hmm. we showed it at Magna in um, New Orleans right. for the first time. And within days, people were speculating on Reef to Reef on like one of their longest ever running threads that it was gonna do, or we would have a nitrate phosphate variant. Mm -hmm. You know, looking back at the time, like that was a great idea, but yeah. there, we weren't doing Ready anything at about time. it whatsoever. Yeah. So, I think it's something that the user base has really, really wanted for a long time. Yeah. Hear the call, and it was a major engineering challenge to right. overcome and, and chemistry um, to get to the accuracy and precision, which will be released very soon. Yeah. That we wanted to, you know, make it as effective as as we need. Right. There, uh, there needed to be. It needed to be really, really accurate. Yeah. Um, and also bring, you know, what what we see as, um, you know, the the runtime and minimal hands-on time that a, a hobbyist really needs. So, right. you know, it really builds off of what we've already learned with the Trident. And yeah. the Trident really, I hate to say game changer, it sounds a little cliche, but it is a game changer. You know, I learned a lot about my own tank within 24 hours of having it. Yeah. I could tell a whole side story just on, on what that was, but getting essentially real-time alkalinity monitoring, you know, facilitates so many things. And you right. learn so much more about cause and effect, doing this and, and other things. Um, and being able to stay in the sweet spot more often. Right. And, uh, you know, rely on yourself to do a little bit less of that and spend that time on other things. You know, right. whether it's outside of the fish tank or things that a human being, you know, are at least at the time are required to do. So trying to, you know, mimic that success, which yeah. the Trident's been, you know, very popular, very successful, and it's brought a whole uh, a whole bunch of new stuff going to the hobby. Yeah. You need to see the exact same thing with this. So just some quick technical bullet points. 
default, one test per day, 60 day runtime. Okay. Uh, very similar in terms of inside the unit, still gonna have the three bottles. You know, there's be some details all kind of released on this stuff. Yeah. Price point, wish I could tell you exactly today, but extremely comparable to the Trident. I don't think you're gonna have to wait very long to get the answer to that. Yeah. Uh, release date also, won't have to wait very long to get one of these in your hands, especially if you're a loyal customer of a good store. You should be seeing this in May. I think you'll be getting a date on that pretty soon as well. Gotcha. So I'm personally very excited. That's been the missing ingredient in me being able to stay away from my tank and yeah. you know really maximize the performance. Yeah. So you know this is beginner through expert. Ultimately, this is really a uh, you know another tool to perfect your hobby, learn right. a lot of things, right. and be able to maximize like the potential of your tank. Right. You know and minimize your time. Right. Uh, and headaches, right? It's also a right. safety net and all the other things that you get with Neptune. So, right. like, you know, you're adding two key parameters that will become second nature in the same way that some of the other parameters are now. Yeah. So, I'm really excited and uh, we're not going to have to wait very long for, for everybody to get in their hands. And of course, it's sharing the awesome black paint scheme, basically, the dark, dark gray black paint scheme. So, yeah, right, I'm loving right. it. It's safe to say that. This is going to have a, another evolution and uh, a revolution, as to say, in the uh, in the aquarium industry. So, super pumped. Yeah, the people are happy. You know, it's it's nice to bring what they want. This is what the For customers sure. want. I think it's what the industry needs, and we're only a couple of days away from really kind of seeing what it's all about. So, right, right, yep. right. I'm super excited to see this in person. Um, I have a couple of questions sure. for you. And in this one, I see that you you mentioned that it's going to be much quieter than the original version, Correct. right? I, I, essentially, the Versa, cute, you know, quiet technology gotcha. is what they implemented into this. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I haven't also torn one apart, seen exactly what it looks like, and, and all the rest. So, gotcha. um, there's a merging of the tech for sure. Yeah. And uh, I think marketing will, marketing is going to push an email out that that shows gotcha. all the different colors and all that good stuff. So, gotcha. So I had a couple of questions about reagents yep. for this uh, Trident MP. You said you could test once a day, right? Correct. Can you have it more than once a day? let's say, you know, supplement or a drops where it reduces phosphate or something like that. I would like to see how fast it works and such. So I was just wondering from my perspective. Absolutely, that's, that's a great point. You can force uh, or opt for uh, spot checks uh, gotcha. at will. Gotcha. Yep. And we were just talking about the reagents. Um, so you said that these are last for 60 days if you do one, one test a day? Correct. So I, I guess the big difference between the first Trident and the NP is that the bottle set gives you 60 days uh, with the original Trident, but A is used twice as often. Right. So at, you know, it could vary. You might be able to change it at 20 days up to 40 days because yeah. you kind of have a little bit of wiggle room. Yeah. But usually B and C will kind of start to run out uh, as you get closer to two months. So the, the nice thing with the MP is you get 60 days, so it's, it's once every two months and you'd have to touch it. Yeah. Um, and just a random thing that's come up is people have asked if you can combine the, the waste from one to the other, absolutely, right. and we encourage you to do so. so. Really? Yep, so gotcha. you can feed them both into the, the same spot. Gotcha. Yep. Tom, thank you so much for hey, your time Rich, to fun. explain everything about this yeah. product for us. I really appreciate your time, and I'm really looking forward to everything that this unit will come uh, and revolutionize our hobby once again. Absolutely. Thanks again.